So this might be the single most hated zombies map of all time. Literally considered to be the worst map ever created, and that is Infection from Exo Zombies. So we've got a power generator over here. You have to go press. Ding. <laughs> Dude, Oz going like fucking as I turn on the thing. Wow. 10 out of 10 voice acting, I have to say. Dude, the zombies' eyes, I won't lie, in Exo Zombies, See the way they like glow and move when you walk around? It's really strange. I won't lie though, yeah, the hit marker in fucking exo zombies is clean. Okay, so we should be on the last zombie. Pick up some credits over here, because why not? So we turned on, I believe, was it Quick Revive? Uh, let's not pick it up. We'll take the risk, fuck it, dude. Maybe I'll regret it, maybe I won't. Yeah, the reason that this map is the single most hated map ever created is because after a certain point, I think it's like round 20, every single location in the map just becomes completely unplayable. Like, no joke, you literally cannot go into those areas anymore because there's some like toxin or something that completely just blocks all the areas off. So you have to spend the whole time in the sewers underground which is just just as a concept just sounds fucking stupid to say out loud but like why would you spend so much time creating a map if you're just gonna make players spend their entire time underground in the dull area okay, we'll open that door 1500 points god damn that was a uh, pretty expensive for a door actually um we've got a generator here slowly starting to remember things i won't like the exo zombies music though it's not bad i think the printer might be in there Trouble is, the door is a thousand. Hyper damage? Okay, we've got the insta-kill. It's kind of cool when you play as John Malkovich, not gonna lie. Oh, we've got a supply drop. All right, fair enough. Got a little drone. God, the fucking blood and shit is like splattering all over my face. Nice. Getting really gritty. I mean, I won't lie. Sledgehammer games know how to make sort of like gore and that aspect. It's just they didn't nail the, the fun part, which, you know, it's kind of important. Zombies has to be replayable, otherwise it just falls into obscurity very quickly. Oh god, let's not go down there. Let's go hit the box. We got 3,000 points. Oh my god, if I hit the box then I would have got the fucking wonder weapon. And we get a mayhem. Yeah, that serves me right. I should have just hit it the second that I walked over to the box. Because if you didn't know, I explained it in my last video. But when you go to hit the box, you can actually predict what you get. It's like, it's not how the mystery box normally works, which is weird. So like, oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, we got the cauterizer, but yeah, you sort of see for a second what gun you're going to get, and then if you buy the box, you can pick it up. So, um, point blank, missed my shot. Nice, clean. Yeah, that's kind of neat. We got the wonder weapon. I mean, it's there's actually another wonder weapon on this map. It's called the Magnetron, I believe. It's like a microwave gun, and it's not as cool as it sounds. What's this? We've got requires exosuit. Oh yeah, the only perk you can actually buy on solo is exomedic, which is just revive. But because we're not going to be buying it, since we're doing like a one life playthrough, we'll just focus on the damagey perks, of course. The nice thing is I don't think there's a perk limit in Exo Zombies. So, you know, this game definitely has some upsides. It's not like it's entirely awful. It's just there are some very controversial and like mediocre aspects to the game that people just are not a fan of. See, like another thing, we've got elemental zombies. This guy's spraying juices everywhere, looks like. Ow, guy, fucking hell, the acid's burning. Ow! Oh, I think these zombies are actually exclusive to this map. They're like acid burning zombies, like fucking hell. As if the XO ones aren't bad enough. That was 2,000 points. I suppose I didn't change the prices of the fucking doors on solo compared to co-op because that was pretty expensive. Also, isn't there a shark in here? I think it's a trap that you can activate where you can literally spawn in a shark, which, you know, it's kind of neat. It's also creepy. Ah, here we go, the exo suit. Now we can actually use shit and jump around, boost everywhere. It is nice having that fast movement but yeah here we go we've got value voltage here and then over here we've got sewer junction so we're gonna need another 40 points and then we'll be able to go into one of these areas if the fucking zombie would hurry up and there we go took you long enough so let's open up here value voltage another reason why this map is very controversial is the fact that you get forced into these survival objectives oh we got dogs wait we got a nuke on a dog round so if i just wait a second hit this nuke is the round just over? Oh, it's not. Wait, we got zombies. That was weird. I thought it was a dog round. I guess we just got one random dog spawning. Kind of strange. Anyway, uh, here we go with the exo boosty zombies. We've got to open this door to actually... Holy shit, that guy... <laughs> fucking... You see how fucking far that guy leapt? There's a lot of doors on this map, which is annoying. 
Ow, and we're getting fucking cornered. Ah! Okay, let's turn on this. There's a perk over here that I'm not sure what it is. What is this? Exo Soldier. And that's like the gung ho perk. Got some numbers over here. But yeah, you get pulled into survival objectives. Like there are these people that come around the map and you have to fucking defend them and escort them places. And it's just kind of meh. Like I wish they were optional. You'll see what I mean when we get to it, but yeah, not really ideal. I think the Mayhem is actually one of the better guns because it just obliterates the entire horde. Ah, here we go with the fucking survivor round. So if we don't do this, we get punished for it. So you have to come over to here, pick up this little survivor. <laughs> Hello, dude. What's up? You ready to get saved? You have to actually protect him from the fucking zombies because the guy is useless. Surprised he's made it this far, honestly. It's a cool concept, but it's just the fact that if you don't protect him, you end up getting like severely punished for it, which sucks. So I think we have to take him. Where is it? To the middle? Yeah, we've got like the uh, the flare here. So he has to climb up there. Okay, come on. Get him away. Get him away. Fucking. Is he going to go? Yeah, I'm protecting you, dude. Fucking hell. What more can I do, bro? There we go, he's fucking saved now. Oh, and I'm gonna fucking go down! Jesus! Survivor has been rescued. Oh, thank god. What did I get for it? Did I get some points? I'm not sure exactly what I got for that. Um, I guess the only way to check is to go back over here. I got, I got nothing? Oh, so I just- I, I, I mean, I'm assuming I got points for that, because otherwise that was pretty fucking dumb. But okay, dude, sure. So yeah, those are the survivor rounds. They're- a fucking pain in the ass. You're pretty much forced into doing them because if you don't, then areas of the map get locked off. I think they come back eventually, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure about that. I don't even know if that's true. Let's go and try and find Exo Health. I have no clue where it is. This is Sewer Junction, maybe. Uh, this is Speed Cola. I suppose we could pick up that if needed. Oh, and then we've got another fucking door here. Burger Town, the main area. I mean, we might as well just open this up, I suppose. We've got some credits. Not bad, not bad. Fuck, we're actually running really low on ammo. Oh, we've got a per Look over here. Let's go and see what this is. So it looks like... Oh, it's a health thing. Okay, so we're visible with exo health. Where is the power thingies? Over here, right? Oh, it's fucking through here. Oh, of course. Dude. Of course there's another door you have to open just to get the, the pack a punch in the thing. Ow. Almost fucking... Oh, we've got a weapon upgrade. Ah, oh, so that's what you get for the survivor thing. Yes, yeah, so now we got our ammo back. That's kind of cool, actually. On top of that... It upgrades our gun. That's neat. I mean, it's not actually that good because it's only 2,500 to upgrade in the first place and there's like 20 upgrades. So but still, hey, I'll take it. Not bad, not bad. Now we have to save up for exo help. I think 2,000. No, it's 2,500. Oh, we got double points. Okay, that'll help. Oh, we got the fucking acid zombies. They make some really disgusting like squelching noise. Okay, we're one kill away. There we go. Let's go and pick this up real quick. Ow. Throw some grenades while the double points are still up. There we go. Exo health, fucking acid zombies, get the fuck out. Not bad. Okay, so now we'll probably get exo reload next. Oh, we got fucking Bobby over here. Look at this guy. He's like the mascot dude from this map. I think you can actually activate him as part of the Easter egg. You got like a trash shoot over here as well. So, I mean, there are fast travel methods and stuff. It's only 100 points. That's kind of interesting. But I'm pretty sure it's random where it takes you anyway. So, like a garage here. I think you can actually go in here at some point. Oh, is it fucking infected round? It is. Oh my god, it is. I despise spice this round so much. It's so fucking freaky, man. I hate it. Like, one hit and you get infected? Like, that's just a terrifying concept. Like, imagine if The Walking Dead, the TV show The Walking Dead, was you get touched once and you just fucking turn into a zombie. Like, at least you have to get bit or scratched, but fucking, fucking hell. It's okay, we should be fine. We can just jump around on the roofs. I mean, that's the benefit of exo zombies, is you can just fucking jump 50 million miles in the air. Oh. Okay, I think we've only got a few zombies left. The good thing is we actually automatically get disinfected if we end the round. And I think these zombies are a little weaker as well. Did this might be the last one. No, we've got one more. Oh, it's a crawler. There we go. Okay, we got max ammo. 3,200 points. I mean, I'd say we can go get speed cola, but we've got to fucking go in the sewers, which is going to be dangerous. I guess we'll just chill for now. We've got some pretty cool, like, traps and stuff. So we've got an orbital airstrike. I've used it before, and it absolutely obliterates the zombies, so we're definitely going to give that a try. We could do that now. Oh, yeah, we just randomly get dogs in the middle of the round. That's strange. It's cool the dogs actually drop drops, though. Like, they don't normally do that in Treyarch zombies, but... It's cool. It's a cool concept. Um, orbital airstrike. Fuck it, dude. Let's do it. Oh my god, here we go. So yeah, it literally just nukes the entire map. Shit. Oh! 
I think we can take damage to it, but I'm not certain on that. Pick up this while the double points is still active. 600 points. Right, there's only a few zombies left. Let's go pick up some perks. So speed cola is over here. So I think to get to it... Oh, we got some more credits. Okay, not bad. I think to get it, we can like boost up here, if I'm correct. Um, Is this, this right? Yeah, here we go. There is like some cool little movement manipulation techniques. Oh god, we're going to get another fucking survivor round, aren't we? What in the fuck is that? What? What is that? Oh, it's this fucker. Ow. What in the living fuck? It's like a mini boss zombie. I completely forgot this guy existed. I think that attack he just did turns off your fucking exosuit. Oh my god. It's fine. He's got a fucking shield, man. And you expect me to be able to kill this dude? Thank god the zombies aren't spawning. Ow, we fucking turned my suit. Okay, I killed him. <laughs> Bro. And then the zombies start spawning in after. You've done okay. I mean, I won't lie. That was kind of badass. Fucking hell, that was stressful. Jesus. We got him on round 10 as well. I was thinking that I knew there was a boss on this map, but I didn't think it would come for another like 10 rounds. Holy shit. <laughs> also, I'm hoping I fixed my microphone. I actually changed a setting in like the Windows microphone settings. And I think it might have gone back to how it originally was and how it was originally sounding. So I'm hoping this sounds good right now. I mean, I'll find out obviously when it goes into editing and uploading and shit. But yeah, if it has, that'll be nice because it was a bit of a pain trying to mess around with the microphone settings for ages, trying to fix it and figure out what was going wrong because it just started getting really distorted for no reason or just bass boosting out the wazoo. Like, no kidding, it sounded fucking awful awful. Ow. Wait, this fire actually fucking hurts you. What the fuck? Dynamic fire? That's- <laughs> I mean, that's kind of cool. I know they, they do that on transit and bus depot, but it doesn't actually set you on fire, which is nice. It just, like, hurts you. Burger Town Toxic Zone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, this is what I was talking about. So if you stay in an area for too long, it becomes- Toxic. Oh, and now I'm infected. So on top of everything, now I have to go and disinfect in the middle of the round. And every zombie hit takes away five seconds. So if I don't get there in time, I'm actually going to die. Oh no, it took three seconds off. Okay, thank God. Still though, here we go. We can decontaminate, but just the concept of the thing, like the fact now I'm forced to play underground is just a bit shitty. Like the map doesn't look too good under here. Who wants to play sewer zombies, you know? And like I was only in Burger Town for what, three rounds? Oh, we've got these white-eyed zombies that seem to uh, take more damage or have more health or something. So I think after the round, the area will come back or something, but regardless, it's still a bit silly. Oh, here we go. The toxic zone did disable, thank God. Imagine if a Treyarch map did that, though. Like, just you're playing Kino Toten and all of a sudden you fucking get completely locked off the area and you're fucked. Oh, let's call in a thing. We've got another fucking survivor we've got to go deal with. Where are you at, buddy? Pain in my side. Where are you? Oh, you're just, you're chilling in there. Okay, buddy. Well, I called in my air support, so hopefully that'll help. My gun isn't even dealing damage, though, so I don't know how I'm supposed to fucking save you. Ow, fucking hell. A little stressful, it's fine. Dude, there's assault drones helping a lot though. Oh uh, shit. If I could if I could move, that would be great. Fucking hell. Oh my god, the survivor's getting fucking pelted with zombies. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to fucking help you. Get the fuck out of the way, dogs. Dude, this assault drone needs to be doing more work, man. I'm trying to help you, man. He's just stuck in the fucking corner. Like, what more can I do, buddy? Hello? Are you gonna run? Finally, he actually managed to escape with the fucking corner. Jesus Christ. So where do you want to go? Are you going all the way back to fucking spawn? Because that would be a real nuisance. Come on, man. Can we walk any slower? Okay, here we go. Come on. You're right here, buddy. I'm trying. You're good, man. Ow. Fucking stuck in a corner. Ow. Fuck. Did I- I think I activated camouflage. Survivor has been rescued. Oh, thank God. Dude, that camouflage came in clutch. I would have fucking died there. Holy shit. We got a lot of points for that, though. And we should get a weapon upgrade at the end of this round so we can get more cauterizer ammo back. Oh, shit. We're still in, still in the middle of the round. Ow. 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 Dude. So that's the exo zombies experience. Like, man, what? I fucking couldn't move. Like, yeah, I jumped in the air, but like, okay. Okay, dude. What? Was this quick revive? Uh, let's not pick it up. We'll take the risk. Fuck it, dude. Maybe I'll regret it. Maybe I won't. So I decided to re-record the game that we were playing. We're basically up to the exact same round we were last time. I mean, we're on round nine. We finished on round, what was it, 12, 13? So I decided we were going to go back and play again because my last, like, few videos have all ended on round 12. Oh, shit. We got the big guy. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, so I have an AK-12. Not exactly the best gun in the world, but I got it upgraded a little bit. Ow. I'm getting stuck on things. Fucking hell, this big guy is still terrifying. Oh, and he took my exosuit off. Well, that's not good. Okay, he should be nearly dead now, I'd assume. Ow. Oh, you fucking take that offline as well. Oh, you bitch. Oh, we got zombies too? Oh, awesome. I swear we didn't get zombies last time. Ow. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ooh, oh god, I'm getting stuck in holes. Okay, I'm being nuked again. Dude, you can't get much more annoying than permanently taking off my exosuit. Oh, we're out of ammo for the AK-12. Oh, shit. There we go. We fucking got him, finally. It's weird that he spawns in the middle of the round, but, like, he spawns at the start and then no one's there for a few minutes. Also, I won't lie, the AK-12 has some pretty damn good damage. But, yeah, we're basically gonna try and get to, I wanna say, like, round 20, you know? At least improve on round 13, which we got to last time. I know this map is pretty difficult because you get locked off from areas, so it's not exactly the easiest to play when you're stuck in the sewers. But I've basically learned that the EM-1 is fucking amazing for points because it does, like, no damage. So you just fire into them and get, like, a continuous 10 points. I'm sure it's very loud right now, but okay, we have enough for two more upgrades of our weapon. Go ahead and do that real quick. Mark four, get mark five. Probably should have saved up points because we're going to need to go to the other area. Yeah, where's this last zombie? Oh, it's a crawler. Uh, no wonder it's taking 20 years. But yeah, we didn't get the cauterizer out the box this time, you know, sad, but oh, here we go with the fucking toxic zone. Okay, if I could not get infected, that'd be great. Okay, good. It's so fucking annoying when it does that, but you know, it's it's fine. I don't have the points to open the door yet, so I'm gonna have to run all the way back. Oh shit. Ow. Okay, it's fine. We're chilling. Let's just go all the way back to spawn. See if we can pick this up real quick. Oh, there we go. Camouflage will help quite a bit. We got double points. Let's go pick that up. Ow. Look at the point generation. It's pretty good. Let's actually use the AK-12 for points just because it kills faster, so I guess we'll get more points. Yeah, in the early rounds, using the EM-1 was definitely the play. Ow. Oh. Ooh, dude, the reach on their fucking arms is pretty long. Yeah, these white-eyed zombies are fucking annoying because they're like... Oh, we got max ammo. Nice, okay. They have, like, ridiculously high health and armor and stuff, so pretty difficult to kill. And they're faster, I'm pretty sure. They're like the red zombies from Outbreak, but I don't know if the red ones are in this map. But yeah, we've got the points now. Assault drone. Ow, you bastard. So let's go and open up the command room, whatever it's called. Is generator on? Okay, Burger Town is no longer toxic. Oh, it swaps weapons faster. That's kind of helpful, actually. Oh, we got fucking survivor located. I mean, honestly, do we just say fuck the survivor? Because last time we barely got them out. You know, honestly, I'm sorry, dude. You're gonna, you're gonna just stay there. I actually, I'm curious what the punishment is for not helping him. So let's wait and see, I guess. I mean, it's his fault for fucking <laughs> camping around in the biggest fucking infected area. Yeah, I know what he just said. You're welcome to come down here and help out. If you want to save these fucking survivors so much and get them to do it, I'm out here killing fucking hundreds of zombies and getting damn 10 foot tall fucking mega giga huge big thick zombies yeah it's nice i wanted to just re-record this game just to try and uh, get a higher round because i wasn't really too happy with ending on like round 12 my last like three videos have been round 12 yeah i don't want all my videos to be ridiculously low rounds survivor rescue failed what's gonna happen then power drain penalty oh so it turns my exosuit off and it drains the where well, you can't use anything that's power related Oh my god, you actually can't power malfunction. <laughs> Wait, that's so stupid. Like, for a mandatory- I mean, it shouldn't be mandatory to fucking- You can't even buy war weapons because they're power. Oh my god, that's actually terrible. Wait, does it remove my perks? No, I don't think it does. That would be- that would just be too much. On top of everything, I've got a gun that doesn't exactly do damage. I still can't believe they added the EM-1 to fucking Call of Duty Vanguard. Like, it's meant to be a World War II zombies game. <laughs> Adding laser guns, but anyway. Power restored. Oh, finally. Do we have to actually manually turn on the stuff again? Please tell me we don't. Oh my god, we do. Dude, that's so stupid. Literally makes you have to return on the power in every single area. That's quite dumb. But yeah, we've got the points to pack a punch. So, I mean, oh, the mystery box is here. Are there two 3D printers on the map? I swear I didn't get like a teddy or anything. Let's use this. Uh, let's kill this crawler first because it's going to annoy the hell out of me. Right, so we got upgrade weapon. Let's actually hit the box because why not? What do we get? Ooh, these are like the monkey bombs, right? Distraction drones. Yeah, not bad. Mayhem. Hey, we had this last time. It's actually a pretty good gun, not gonna lie. We could try and upgrade this. It seems to just wipe zombies out. Like, boom. It, it, it's not even upgraded and it fucking just one-shot both those um, anti-exo zombies. Yeah, the training pattern. I mean, this works here. Like, jumping up in the air, boosting over to the corner. But when you get these fucking exo boosty zombies, it's stressful. I wish there was like a PhD flopper in this game, but it's fine. This is kind of fun, not gonna lie. Just boost into the air, fucking explode them all. Uh, let's pick up the nuke. 
Why not? Round over. A, hey, we're, we're ahead of the round we were on before. Ooh, Mayhem Mark II. I think when you upgrade weapons as well, when you swap them out, you can get them back in the box with the upgrade that you had. Which, I mean, that's kind of nice. Oh, have we got infected round? Oh, yeah, we have. Oh, shit. Well, let's try and not get infected. We... When I was playing by myself before, I actually didn't get infected the entire round. So I wonder if we can keep up the track record. Probably not. Oh, we've got a fucking supply drop trying to spawn on my head again. Nice, nice. Flashbacks to Outbreak. This round is actually terrifying though. Just the fact that you get hit once and you fucking get infected. Kind of terrifying. Ow, and that's all it took. Well, let's see if we can be greedy and end the round without going to get disinfected. I mean, we should be able to. I don't think there's that many left. Oh, damaging ourselves with this actually takes points away. It takes time away. Okay, I think we've got like, what, two zombies left? Not many. Fuck, we've got eight seconds. Oh shit. Wet. Oh, we d Okay, at least we down. I thought we were just gonna fucking completely end the game. Well, my bad. <laughs> I strongly thought that we'd be able to make it to the end of the round. That round was a lot longer than I, I was expecting. Don't mind me, I'm just trolling, it's cool. I actually did pick up Exomedics just so I could guarantee get to a better round. There we go. Round over, holy shit. It was unnecessarily... That was uh, stressful. Oh, for fuck's sake, and then we got fucking Toxic Zone. I'm actually gonna have to go disinfect as well, aren't I? Oh, and it took my exosuit off. Cool, thank you. I don't know why. Oh, zombie fucking dogs, cool. Well, back to Burger Town it is. Oh, yep, and the, the perks are all off now. Thank you, appreciate it. At least we get 100 points for turning on the powers again, I suppose. I mean, there's that, there's that as a bonus. Got another camouflage. We've already got the streak limit. We might as well call in a drone then. We've already got the most we can have. I think we get points for it, which is nice. You can have points, got a double points. So yeah, I didn't know that, that hitting yourself with the launcher actually takes like two seconds off of your timer when you're infected. If I'd have known that, I um, probably would have just used the AK. Hey, at least we didn't, like, fully die. So there's that, at least. Nice. Okay, the round's just over. I won't lie, the streak system's kind of nice. Fucking hell, that was loud. Grade our weapon again. We have to mark four. I think... No, it doesn't increase the ammo count. I think it's, like, mark ten that increases the ammo count. Because that would be quite nice. Yeah, this launcher is satisfying as hell. I wonder if there's a mod on Black Ops 3 that lets you use, like, advanced warfare zombies guns. Because that'd be kind of cool. It just sucks if there's no PhD flopper, of course. Oh, okay. Boom, just like obliterate the whole horde. Yeah, I think this is the first time I've actually recorded two games in one. But I mean, I guess you won't see the start of this game. It was technically all still one gameplay, I guess. But yeah. So I just realized we upgraded our weapon without needing to turn on the power, which is interesting. Because you'd think it would be like separated or whatever. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't tell me I have a survivor. I heard him talking. No? Apparently not. Oh, never mind. Here we fucking go. Survivor located. Dude, honestly, I'm just going to say fuck it and leave him again. <laughs> I don't care, man. I'm sorry. If all I'm going to get is the power turning off and like a temporary exosuit down or whatever, like sure, it's fine. I'll fucking live. It's not the end of the world, you know? Yeah, there hasn't been a more annoying feature in zombies than that, I don't think. And also, since I was talking about Vanguard earlier, this was actually the most hated zombies map up until Duranfang, but I'm not sure if it still is the most hated, because I mean, it's just like the least played, most disliked map. People hate Duranfang just because it's different and stuff, and you know, I hate it as well. Fucking, like, it's shit. But is it worse than Infection? Eh, maybe it is, you know, because at least this is round based, and at least you can actually upgrade your weapons like reliably and shit. Ow. So, like, this is, it's still playable. Maybe I, maybe I won't call it that for the title, because honestly, yeah, now I'm thinking about it, I'd rather be playing infection than Duran Fang. What do you guys think though? What, would, what map would you prefer to be playing right now? Duran Fang or Infection if you were like forced to choose one map? Jesus, that power drain actually is on for a while. Like it's gonna be like three minutes or some shit. Can we still pack a punch while the power is out? No, we can't. Fuck, that's actually kind of bad because we don't have any... Oh, and now it... Dude, now it's Toxic Zone in Burger Town already. Jesus Christ. Well, back to uh, value voltage, I guess. Jesus Christ. Fucking... Dude, move out the way. I almost fucking died there because of stupid zombies. I gotta remember I have distraction drones as well. It's fine though. Uh, we could spawn in a drone or something. I mean, yeah, there's no reason not to. No point in saving it. I'd love a max ammo. That'd be great. Also want to avoid those anti-exosuit zombies. Drones putting in work though. Let's go. Ow, fucking didn't want an exosuit anyway. It's fine. I'm gonna throw a little distraction drone here. Just get some more points as well. Oh, double points. That would be... Quite nice. Ow, fucking acid zombies. Oh, insta-kill. Decent, let's go. Got a lot of drops on right now. I'm out of ammo completely. I'm out of ammo completely. Power restored, let's go. Ow, fucking hell. Oh, okay, that was lucky. I hit like, my insta-kill was about to run out and I managed to get the last 
punch fine though, because we can upgrade our weapons. And boom, now we've got ammo back. Oh, we've got more ammo in the mayhem now. Oh, so it's Mark 7. Oh, we got the fucking big guy. Oh, shit. Where is he? Where is he? Let's see how the mayhem does against him, honestly. Did he deflect my shot? It's like a homing missile as well, but fucking turns off my exosuit, which is kind of frustrating. Um, let's camouflage. I don't know if he can see me. Oh, he can't. Yeah, well, that's good. Fucking hell, you're a meat sponge. Jesus Christ. How much fucking health do you have? There we go. We fucking got him. Took long enough. This mayhem is definitely putting in work, though. I'm not gonna lie. Very satisfying launcher to use. Probably near the end of the round now. Oh, yeah, we've got like, a trap here. What is this? It's like a monkey bomb, right? Yeah, ambulance distraction. I guess we can use that if needed. But, hey, we made it to round 20, so I'm... <laughs> I'm glad we managed to re-record this, make the video a little bit longer as well, because I've noticed that, like, my 10-minute videos, or, like, 12-minute videos, tend to do a little bit worse than anything between that and, like, 35 minutes or so. Which is interesting how that works, like, the algorithm just prefers slightly longer videos. But then the Shadows of Evil one I did, which was like 45 minutes, didn't actually do too well. So hey, the more you know. Also, this is off topic, but I saw that Chrism uploaded finally. So I know he's been playing a lot of Overwatch, because I think that was like what he did before Zombies, possibly. So you know, that's kind of cool. I gave that video a watch. He's playing like a Battle Royale Zombies mod. So I mean, I'm probably going to give that a try, because it sounds kind of cool. It just turns any map into a Battle Royale. So like the circle just gets smaller and smaller. It could be a fun little challenge. What was this drop over here? Oh, we got a max ammo. Okay, sure. I mean, the nice thing is, when we upgrade our weapons, we don't actually need to worry about ammo because we just go in here and fucking upgrade and boom, it's done. But like, bada boom, mark 10. Uh, let's get ready to leave. Yep, because I, I fucking called it. Wait, it's two zones now? So not only is one zone fucking completely blocked off by toxicness, but now it's the fucking other area too. It's fine, you know, I didn't want to go anywhere anyway. I think Burger Town's fine. Yeah, it was Atlas Command, which is like the spawn area. That's so ridiculous though, the fact that they literally block off entire areas of the map for like a whole round. And I mean, when, I'm guessing it'll get to a point where all three are blocked at one time. So you literally cannot go anywhere except the sewers. <laughs> it's so depressing. Yeah, this mayhem is absolutely fucking shredding right now. Might be one of the best guns to use in Exo Zombies, honestly. So I don't know what the strat is for high rounds. I mean, I'd assume it it's literally just using the traps over and over again. I'd use this trap, but I've got to fucking turn the power back on again because <laughs> stupid fucking... Oh, let's see if we can do it real quick. Oh, sprinting. There's no stamina up, I don't think, on this map. Ow! Oh my god. Dude, I almost fucking died there. One zombie just, like, slapped the shit out of me. Oh, we've got another fucking survivor. Dude, I, I swear it was, like, two rounds ago we had the last one. Sorry, man. You were, uh, you're kind of screwed. I mean, I could probably be able to pick him up. It wouldn't be too difficult, but, like, do I want to? Not really. Let's put down a turret. I feel like turrets are useless because they just, like, get destroyed instantly. Like, I've just put it down. It's already fucking broken, pretty much. Yeah, like, it's not even firing anymore. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. It's kind of just used as, like, a monkey bomb because it soaks the, uh, the zombies up. Yo, I'm sorry, but I don't care about the goddamn survivor, man. Hey, in Walking Dead, if they fucking went to save every single person on the planet, do you think that they'd have made it to season 11? I don't think so. We're gonna need to go and upgrade our weapon before the fucking power malfunctions. Yeah, it's really nice being able to, like, strafe jump in Exo Zombies. So when you boost into the air, you can go to the right, you can go to the left, you can obviously go forward. So it's pretty handy, and, like, you can just jump and then boost like this without actually having to double jump. Oh, fucking- It turned my suit off! It turned my fucking suit off! Oh my god. Okay, we survived. It's fine. The fucking power drain turns your suit off for like 30 seconds. Well, we fucking managed to survive. I have a feeling next infected round or something, we're just gonna end up dying. I can't even buy weapons on the wall because the power's down. Like, the fact that you need to have power to be able to buy wall weapons is a bit dumb. Fucking random exo boost zombie behind me. Ugh. Hey, there we go. Still can't get the pack a punch though, which sucks. Power surge will be done in like probably 30 seconds or so. Oh, and we've got the fucking infected round. Jesus Christ. Let's put a turret down. Hopefully this will help. It's because they're really fucking fast. That's what's stressful. And we're getting stuck on things and it's fine. Oh, oh, and we're infected. Cool, cool, it's fine. I mean, we can go and disinfect in a second. Also got camouflage, which, you know, helps. Oh my god, we made it. Thank god. Oh my god, we managed to jump over that guy. We need to get back to the fucking Pack-a-Punch to go get ammo. Boom, jump over you fuckers. Oh, we've got to turn on the fucking power first, though. So we've got to loop around here. Here we go. Now we've got to loop all the way back around and Pack-a-Punch. It's fine, I'm sure we've got this. It's cool. Oh, we can use his trap. 
There we go, distraction. Oh, thank God, that was perfect timing. That trap actually came in clutch, holy shit. And now the round should be basically done. Okay, I think we've got like one crawler left. Where is this guy? Oh no, the round just ended. Okay. <laughs> I, d I don't know where he was. Oh my God, dude, I was gonna upgrade my fucking gun. It's gonna fucking infect me as well, isn't it? Oh no, it didn't, okay. Dude. But my suit's down. Okay, dude. Didn't want to move anyway. Wait, this is infected too? Are you serious? Why is he- why is it infected here too? Wait, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, okay, I'm a fucking idiot. Move out the way! I've got camouflage, it's cool. I think we can drop down, like, where is it? Here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, decontaminate, fucking- I guess we'll have to go back to spawn. There's at least one area we can fucking go to. This is what I mean, like, it just forces you to go into other locations. Like, I'm all for not encouraging camping strategies and stuff, but, like, come on, man. The zombies already move at the speed of light, and you're gonna fucking force you into, like, the sewers constantly. Really tight corridors and shit. We've got max ammo and a nuke. At least it only lasts one round, but, like, fucking hell. Oh, the zombie's a tanky one. There we go. Okay, toxic zone disabled, so we can actually fucking go back now. I want to go fucking pack a punch real quick. We're getting close to um to finishing our upgrade. What is happening? Why am I why am I so slow? What just happened? I have to throw a fucking distraction. I do not know what happened. That I I started like slowly sliding off the fucking counter. What was that? Ow. Dude, what is hitting me? Oh, we've got a max ammo. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Just boost in the air, fucking mayhem launcher, shoot them. Oh shit. Ow, can I move? It'd be great if I could move. Still doing a lot of damage though, which is nice. Oh, we're gonna have a fucking survivor next round. Oh boy, I can't wait. I'm totally gonna go and help them. Got like one zombie left. I fucking missed him, apparently. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Alright, let's upgrade this shit. We can actually fully max it out. Trouble is we'll get like bad ammo now, but it's cool. And then we'll upgrade the mark. 10 AK or whatever. Boom, we got mark 20. Nice pretty royalty camo kind of cool. You know, honestly, if there was a stamina up in this map, I feel like it would be a little bit broken, considering how the exo boost movement system is, but it would help dealing with the fucking blue zombies that turn off your exo suit. Oh, fuck. Fucking exo suits turned off. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, my. Okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> okay. I got hit by, like, three fucking anti-exo suit zombies. Whatever, man. Hey. We didn't end on round 12. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, leave a comment if you've got any map suggestions. Hope you've enjoyed. Oh, if we got one more kill, we would have had one, 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 one. Oh, well, it's fine. Yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.